So as I said in the previous video, I'm gonna be focusing on the practical application of Dagger. And I'm gonna be using, kind of approaching this from a more advanced standpoint. Like I'm not gonna be talking about the theory or some of the, kind of the nitty gritty details of Dagger and how a lot of the code generation works. Um, I know, I know like me, for example, when I was reading the code generators, the, the code that's generated by Dagger, um, like as soon as you start reading it, your eyes sort of glaze over and I get, you know, I get tired and bored. So uh, I don't know if it's necessarily um, useful to really like look into the nitty gritty details of Dagger, at least when you're first learning it, you know, um, I, so I just co contradicted myself. I said, I'm going to be looking at this from a more advanced standpoint, but it's not good to look at it if you're a beginner code generators. But so this is kind of a weird thing about Dagger and why one of the reasons why I think it's so it's so hard to learn. A lot of people think it was hard to learn. I thought I thought it was hard to learn. It's because um, a lot of the beginner examples that you see, they're very like they're very boring, I guess. And you can't really see it in action. And I think seeing it in action is a big help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, try and show you it. <clears throat> Focus on like just applying Dagger how to use it on Android, that kind of thing. And then you can you can build those connections in your brain and see see it working and see it coming together. And then maybe later go back and look at the code generators or you know look at the nitty gritty details of what's happening behind the scenes. Um, so anyway, what's the point of what I'm talking about? Um, I'm gonna give you some resources that you can get more information on Dagger or where you can get more information on Dagger um, if you want to do some reading ahead of time before watching my course. So I'm pretty much just gonna give you some recommendations of things you should maybe read ahead of time if, if you're confused anyway, if you're watching my course and it seems all good, it's all good, then don't worry about it. But if you are confused, uh, this is where you're going to want to get more information. So the first thing I recommend is go to the Coding and Flow YouTube channel. Um, I think Florian does a great job on pretty much all of his videos. And particularly, he did a good job on his Dagger playlist. I've watched, I've watched all of them. I think he has... Um, what he's, he's got like 12, 11 videos right now. I've watched them and he, he starts from basically, you know, square one, slowly building uh, up the dagger knowledge. And he really gets into the, the details of what's kind of happening. He looks at the code generators. Um, he gives you, it's a really cool analogy that he takes you through here where he, he kind of builds a, a car assembly line and injects different parts from different places. Uh, so it's a really cool analogy, I think, that you would you would definitely benefit from watching this if you're confused about Dagger, so uh, so check that out. So the the second resource that I would recommend is go to proandroiddev.com/ragdroid. This is uh, this is what I found the most helpful when I was learning Dagger. <clears throat> she uh, she she makes a couple of years ago she made a really interesting sample application. So this is the one right here, the kind of all the the Dagger the Dagger stuff here. Uh, defeat the Dahaka. That's the one you want to read. So start here and kind of re I would read all of her posts. I think they're really good. She gives a really, really cool example of how to use Dagger and the analogies that she uses, the diagrams. She even writes little stories in there to keep you interested because Dagger is not a very interesting uh, topic. It's really hard to maintain attention, I think. Um, so that's that's really good. I would say I learned most of my Dagger knowledge from reading her posts. I think it's really good. And I've even sort of modeled the application that I built in this course after her. Uh, I've obviously made some changes because I don't want to copy her work for one thing. And also because it's uh, it's a little outdated, I will say, because I think she po posted these yeah in 2017. So it's almost, almost two years ago that she made these. Um, and Dagger has changed a lot. And um, she doesn't make use of all of the convenience classes that are uh, present on Android, but I, I still think that she does a really, really great job. I enjoyed her posts. I actually added her on Twitter. I tweeted her and I told her that she did a great job. So, you know, I recommend it. Uh, but those are the two, those are the two resources that I recommend if you want more information. Other than that, just going to like Medium or Pro Android Dev and just searching for Dagger 2 posts. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So now in the next video, we're going to get into the course. I'll build the project and we will get started. I lied. I forgot one. I forgot one uh, recommendation for resources. So obviously going to the Android Architecture Components GitHub page, just go to github.com, Google Samples, Android Architecture Components. This is basically where I live. This is, I, I'm always in these, these sample projects. These are 
all of them are really great. I love them. I love them. These are the best thing that ever happened to Android is architecture components, and these samples are really great. So the one you want to you want to you want to look at the one I like too anyway is the GitHub browser sample. This is the this uses a lot of different things. It uses uh, I think there's a list. Yeah, so a bunch of different stuff here. Dagger two is one of them. Uh, this is actually what I modeled my uh, database cache course after. For those of you who've taken that, uh, lots of lots of cool stuff. I think it's written in Kotlin though. I can't remember. I think it's written in Kotlin. So if you can't read Kotlin. Uh, you're obviously gonna have a problem. Yeah, it's Kotlin, but I mean, if you if you can read Java, you can piece together what's happening in Kotlin, even if you don't know Kotlin. So, uh, I recommend checking that out if you want more Dagger information. Or there's probably some other Dagger examples too. Let's see. Uh, there's there's not all of them use Dagger, but some of them use Dagger, so there'll be more in there. So anyway, in the next one, I will get started with the project.